Well, good afternoon. This is Dr. Camisa. Welcome back to our video series. And today you might be wondering, boy, he's lost a little bit of weight. He looks a little pale. He's got some funny glasses on. What could today be all about? Well, today is about neurofeedback and photic technology and how we stimulate the brain to be better. So if you're new to our channel, stay tuned. This is going to be fun. And in the spirit of Halloween, I think this is perfect. Hey there, it's Dr. Kamisa. Welcome back to our video series. And as you saw my buddy there doing the introduction, uh, today's topic is going to be on these crazy glasses here and how do they work and why do we use them for our neurofeedback. And I'm excited to announce that we have a new website called ultimate-neurofeedback-center.com. I'll put the link down below in the video, but it's Ultimate Neurofeedback Center. So, and we did that because we can have a lot more information on this particular website uh, and separate it out. So, uh, so stay tuned, I'm gonna explain some, some great stuff about these glasses and how they work. Okay, as you can see here, the, my little buddy has got glasses on. So this is the right eye, this is the left eye, and then you see that I have a line drawn down each eye. So on the right eye, we have the right visual field and the left visual field. On the left eye, we have the right visual field in the left visual field. So what that means is that the eye is split into two. So even though you have a right eye and a left eye, there is an actual left visual field of both eyes and the right visual field of both eyes. So I just wanted to show you that from the outside so that when we look inside, and we look at the glasses that we're actually using, the ones I showed you with the different colors, you'll understand how the glasses work. So now we're gonna take a look at what happens inside the head when we see the visual field. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look inside this guy's head and let me just see what I can see here. Well, I wish we could do this with a lot of people. Oh my gosh, look at that roadmap of life. I'm um, unbelievable. So here we are, here's what I did. I took the glasses, right? So we have the right eye, we have the left eye. And so this is the front of the brain here. So I'm gonna put the glasses down and show you what I did inside the brain. So I drew the right eye, left eye. This is the right side of the brain. This is the left side of the brain. I, that's that red line that comes through the center here that separates right and left, okay? So now what happens is that when you see with your eyes, the right visual field here on the right eye hits the back of the retina on the left side, crosses over and makes it all the way back to the left visual field or the left visual cortex on the left side of the brain. Now, when we see, now that's the right eye. So the right visual field of the left eye hits the left visual uh, retinal area comes straight back to the uh, visual cortex of the left side. Now the opposite happens on the left side where we have the left of the right eye, we have the left visual field hitting the right side of the retina coming straight back to the right side of the brain all the way back to the visual cortex. And on the left side it crosses over the brain, crosses over the, the corpus callosum actually, uh, crosses over 
uh, the optic chiasm all the way back to the visual cortex here. So both eyes are feeding, both sides of the, both eyes are feeding individual sides of the brain, right and left. And now you're going to see what happens when we look at the glasses and how the glasses actually work. So now you can see here, I have the glasses. These are our photic, our photo, this is green color. So I'm just going to put them in the same orientation here. And so here's what happens. And you can see here, I'm going to zoom in. And you can see that the glasses are split. There's four lights, two on the right, two on the left of the right eye, two of the right, and two of the left of the left eye. And so I'm going to plug them in and I'm going to show you exactly what happens with these lights. The lights, these are blue glasses here. I have the lights turned off or turned down fairly low. And all I have is the right visual field of each side turned on. The left is not flashing. It's a little bit difficult to see, but I think you can pick it up that the left, the two the two light bulbs here are not flashing as opposed, so I'm going to turn up a little bit and I'm going to show you. So the right side, those right visual fields of both eyes are flashing or brighter than the ones on the left. The ones on the left are not even on. It's just that tough on the camera to see here. But So that's what's actually happening. So I'm going to show you. So if in this particular program, this would be right I'm using the focus unit, which I'll talk about in another, in another video. But I'm using a program right now that's going to stimulate the left side of the brain. Basically, we're only stimulating the right visual fields of both eyes, which is going to go all the way back, all the way through the brain, all the way over to the visual cortex here and the back side here. So that's how we're going to start to stimulate the brain. And now I have the glasses programmed for left visual field only. So this is left on, right off, and you can see the two bulbs here on the right are blinking, where the ones on the right visual field are not. So we're only going to be stimulating the right side of the brain with this program. And now I have both sides lit up, both left and right visual fields of both eyes. So left visual field of the left eye, left visual field of the right eye and right of the left and right right. Everything is flashing right now so that means both sides. And now what we can do is, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the frequencies now. But now we have, so I showed you only the right visual field, only the left visual field and now I'm showing you both which means that now the entire brain would be would be getting stimulation. So you can see there, as I went through that diagram and, and tried to explain to you how the glasses work, and when we look at this chart here of everything from learning disorders, depression, especially in this, this era that we have right now with COVID, and uh, Corona-19 and people locked up and just crazy, but from insomnia to anxiety, chronic fatigue, memory loss, addictions, traumatic brain injuries, panic attacks. So yeah, I like to have fun, you know, putting on crazy glasses, getting you to understand that, you know, there is, that we got 30 years of functional MRI studies behind what we're doing here. And so whether it's these glasses to give you a better idea or whether we put on these glasses so we actually know we have the visual fields here, but every different program, every different symptom has different frequencies, whether it's left-sided or right-sided or a combination of both is the programs that we choose uh, from the software system are designed to impact the brain from front all the way back and try to normalize the brain, try to get it to be better balanced, try to get the brain to be functioning at a higher level. You know, we don't think about, we only think about, oh, I need to be in better shape, I need to, I need to lose 10 pounds, I need to exercise, I need to go to the gym, or, 
or I need to do some kind of physical thing. And yet we forget about this. We forget about the engine that drives everything. So remember, I've said many, many times now on the videos is that our brain controls every cell, every function in our body. It does so by sending that energy down the spinal cord through the nerves to every tissue and organ in our body. So the spine is a critical component of allowing that energy to take place. I've got other videos explaining that. But now we're actually talking about the engine itself. We want to make sure that the battery pack is firing on all cylinders. So when we look at the technology, we look at neurofeedback, we look at photic technology, we're not putting electrical impulses into the brain. We're not putting magnetic impulses into the brain. We're using light. We're using God's gift to us, whether it's the sun or whatever it is, but we're using what we currently have at different frequencies to stimulate the brain all the way back. And this is some of the coolest technology that exists. These are pretty sophisticated glasses. They look pretty simple. I try to make some, some humor out of them, but they are extremely sophisticated because when we're talking about the brain, it is serious. We've all known family members that have, that have had this, memory loss, right? And Alzheimer's, or they've had Parkinson's, or some kind of issue with their cognitive function and at that point, the family will do just about anything to bring life back. So our goal as we're empowering people to live their best day every day is, what does that really mean? It means giving you life for your years. We wanna, we wanna see you vibrant. I don't care what age you are. I don't care if you're 50, 60, 70, or 80. I wanna see you vibrant. This is not about, oh, I don't have any pain today. We're not about that, right? Yeah, we can get rid of your pain, but this is about empowering you to live your best day every day. And how do we get it started from the top down? And uh, phototechnology, I think, is a pretty phenomenal way to start with that. So, <coughs> excuse me. So if you have any questions about this, give us a holler. And so remember, don't forget to uh, subscribe to us, like our videos, share our videos, and check out our new website. They're gonna put a link down below. Uh, ultimate-neurofeedback.center.com and I know it's pretty wordy but uh, neurofeedback is a long word to begin with so anyways um, until next time uh, stay healthy stay positive and we're empowering you to live your best day every day have a fantastic day